look at this thing. Listen to this thing go. Do you want to go for a run in that or what? Yeah, Dad did an oopsie. Things like this always happen when you're not filming. Air and fuel make make big boom. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm not wrong. That's how. That's how motor works. How we going, guys? Welcome back to Renmark. Welcome to the Dingy Derby. Who's pumped? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Super That's excited. Something. Now I said it to you last episode. There was a very good reason we bought the MUX down. And we are fully loaded, seven up in the MUX. We're actually heading out of town. We're heading out of Renmark uh, for the day. We're gonna do something that we've never, ever done before when we've been down here in Renmark. Christian, you wanna tell everybody what you're doing today? Um, we are going to go and check out a very, very quick A-class sports boat. Yep. So. so Scott, the president of the Riverland Dinghy Club, good mate of mine now, his son Sean has just just built a brand new A-class boat. Now to give you some kind of example what the difference is, our boat does, on a good day it'll do 64, 65 kilometers an hour, right? These things are now pushing like 95 kilometers an hour. This is the top class. These are the best of the best of what happens here at Renmark. You've seen them go. I've seen them go. Down that quick. river, eh? What they do is they build these motors right to the limit. They're still a 30 horsepower but they are completely bombed. I think the only regulations is they have to use a standard block and a standard head. They can yeah. do anything else. And they call these motors hand grenades because they're really lucky. They're built to the limits, but they're really lucky if they are, if they actually get uh, to finish the race. So are you gonna go for a run in that boat or what? Hmm, I'll watch first and then I'll decide. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, this is exciting. You're gonna get to see him on race day, so stay tuned for the race episode. But today we're gonna get up close and personal uh, with the Formula One of Dingy Derby Racing. Um, we'll be there in just a minute. That's the whole family pops out of the MUX. Wait till you see what's down here. I just caught a glimpse of it. This is mega exciting. I don't know if everybody's gonna to get to go for a ride in this. Um, I think there's gonna be a fight to see who gets in it. Let's get down there and see the boys and see what these A-class boats are really doing. Cold dark my blood in your frozen veins. Dream high, no pain. Run fast in broken chains. So how, how fast are we talking? Are we allowed to talk about it or not? No, nah, we just say over 90. <laughs> we would rather underestimate everything. So while the boys are throwing in their boat, um, let's have a quick walk around what the difference, what are the main differences between our class, which is the standards, and the A class? Uh, well, we start with obviously just cut down a lot more. Yep. You, you can still cut your standard boats down, but yep. you know how much of an advantage is it? How yeah. much work you want to go to? Yep. Uh, we're on and what is the big advantage? So when he says cutting them down, so they they, they cut the sides down. Yeah. yeah. So the back height is pretty much the standard still. Yep. We don't adjust any of the transom. We just cut it down. We just redone all the nose, all the floor. Yep. Braced it. Obviously, it's braced still in standards. Yep. We've got our electric trim. Yep. So some people run, run hydraulic, but I don't yeah. know. I've got big enough arm to run hydraulic. Where, so race. where do you actually? Oh, you trim it from here. Yep. So, right. So there's, that's that's the switch there. Yep. Yep. Pretty much the main difference for us, I suppose. For us, the big thing is, like, don't, don't get me wrong, you're gonna, you're probably gonna hate what I say here, but just for people who don't understand what this is all about, for us, we can't have any sort of electric or hydraulic trim in our class. What that means for us is, when we're running on aluminium props, it's really hard to get that motor height set for best of both worlds. Because obviously, when you're going on the straights and you want top end, you want to trim the motor right up, yeah. But when you're in the creeks, yep. you want the motor trimmed all the way down. So. In these classes, these guys are allowed to do that. It's a completely different thing. But the next class that I go to will be super standards, stainless prop, yep. and trim. trim. But the kids still have to do another four races before they're allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Points, yeah. So trim's obviously a big advantage. Where you see us through the episode, like we're bouncing off rev limiter, 
cavitating, waiting for the prop to hook up before we get going. Yeah. These guys drop them all the way down, stainless prop, give it the gas, and you see these things like literally jump out of the water. It's it's insane. What we've done here can be replicated by anyone yeah. and just fed straight through all the classes. Yeah. And the beautiful part about it is 99% of these boats are here are, are built and worked on in the home sheds yep. in the Riverland. Two mates came around and put a power of work into every world. We built it, got it ready. They yep. just came around to the rotisserie and worked on it. Yep. Just welded. Tinny Racing, Dingy Derby, anybody can do it. Anybody on any budget. It's really just that simple, right? You can buy a second-hand boat for 500 bucks. You can buy a motor for two to three thousand dollars and it just comes down to the work that you put into it as to how competitive you're going to be you know what i mean and that's that's the good thing about the classes here yeah. enough talking about the boat it looks it looks fast it and it's red red ones go fast everyone knows that check this out <laughs> look, at, look at this thing listen to this thing go That or what? Maybe, no, please. Yeah? Maybe. I don't know. Jesus. It's, it's a bit scary. <laughs> so right now, the kids are going to take their boat out. Uh, what the boys are going to do is they're just going to show the difference between our class and the sports class. So you're going to see the difference. I think he's just going to end up sitting behind the twins and just playing with them, like low on revs. But you'll get to see how quick this thing is uh, pulling away and the big difference between the two. Oh, you wait till Ashton gets back here. It'll be like, forget the boat. How good's that? The kids are out testing and look what just rolled in. Gotta love a 45. Who doesn't love a 45? I wonder what's in that. It sounds injected. Oh, here they come. They're coming back. Yo, how'd you go? Um, we tried. What do you think? <laughs> that is mental. Is that, in, is that mental or what? Yeah. Dude, like watching you guys just 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 playing with them, yeah. and then take like, see you later. Lazy. Do you want to do you want a sports boat now or? What? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go for a run? Yep, done. Tell the audience, Ash, do you need one? Is it um, a want or a need? It's not a want, it's definitely a need. Um, it's got to happen, I've just got to get what, like five races? Yeah. yeah. And, some. Yeah. and some. And some. And then, <laughs> and then, and then maybe a little bit of experience, dude. That looks so cool. Whoa, thank you. <laughs> you right to take one more? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go for another one. All right. Yes. You can't, I've got to do it, dude. Do uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm quite used to going fast, I'll be honest with you. Dad, the water kind of scares me. Don't talk it up. Huh? Don't. Do not talk yourself up. That'll scare you. What am I scare you? Can you let me finish? <laughs> Just saying, it'll scare you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That is nuts. That is Good. dead. Are you kidding? <laughs> that is nuts. As I was saying before, I've been in some pretty fast shit. I've done some pretty wild stuff in my time. I'm not the biggest fan of going fast on the water. The boys will know that when I'm sitting beside them in the ski boat at home. That is crook. Dude, you can't steer. <laughs> uh, can't steer. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll be able to drive that, I'll be honest with you. That is just absolutely nuts. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. I'm glad I did that. It's not just the power, it's the way that thing turns. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, what is that? <laughs> Why does it do it's that? Just, just like you're right, you don't even have to lane, it just turns, eh? Hey? Yeah. You just gotta be there. If you've got it right. Yeah. You build it right. You build like, it dude, right. I can't believe. That's what bearing the nose does as well. Yeah. What the, yeah, the power is, I mean, the power and the speed's crazy, don't get me wrong, but I can't believe the way that thing turns. Thanks a million, boys. No I really, really <laughs> appreciate that, dude. Thanks, man. All good, man. Ken Steer, best of luck on Sunday. Me too. Yeah? Too, if yeah. it's on sports bet, I'm going to put my money on you. <laughs> oh. I, I'll tell you right now. That was awesome. Okay. I'm glad we come down and done that. If we're ever not on the plane, you sit right at the front of the boat. Right. And don't ever get out of there before you tell me. Yeah. Because all of my weight at the back, it'll swamp the transom. Oh. Board, 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 board. So don't get offended. Yeah, yeah. It'll get rough. Yeah. I'll be yelling and screaming and shit. Yeah. But it is what it is. But it's putting me where yeah. I need to be. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah, Dad did an oopsie. We did an oopsie. He just hit a little bit of our chop and went over. Get up on that box. That's Davey. Boy up. Here, hold on to that. Things like this always happen when you're not filming. Well, I, well, actually, I know exactly what happened. Hold up. We'll come around. We're heading back. Sun setting now. We'll, we'll go for one more creek run. Who was that? One more. One more creek run. We were chasing the boys. They fell off the plane. Back there, we got right up their ass. We got into the wash. The boat kind of rocked up the front and I flipped it this way, it's just ejected Dave straight out the side. And as it's kind of rolled, it's just piled water into the side and I've kept it. And then brought it to a stop and there was just too much water in it, the transit was under and it just went boom, straight to the bottom. Not good. It is without doubt the worst pirate I have ever seen. Well, I've got the two baddest tinny rats from the Gold Coast on board. You know what? Tonight's going to be a big night. So, Dad, how, how are you currently feeling? I feel like an idiot, to be honest, but you know what? I've rolled a derby boat. Yeah. Not everybody can say that. That's not what I wanted to do. But it's happened. Ashton, how are you feeling about this? Well, I honestly thought that Dad shaved it. Safety, like me and Christian, we were laughing as we went around the corner, and Dad was just, just started screaming, Help, help! And I was like, Yeah, that's it, it's gone. So, Ash and me, of course, being teen rats back in the Gold, Gold Coast, we have rolled and flipped over many, many, but like, we've never flipped over a tinny of this caliber. So, <laughs> do you mean two corners before? Two corners before. We're gonna catch, we're gonna get them. Yeah. You meant to see how close we got to? I was on your transom, Christian. We were. I finished. You were. We went. First you must finish. We went from like that. six boat lengths behind you to like right on you. You know what you two were doing? Oh. You're keeping me young, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, you know? All those social media comments, the twins we got here, the twins we yeah. got here, well, they've proved it. They've got they've definitely got me. <laughs> I'm the one here with the boat full of water. Ah, would you, would you look at that? She floats once, once again. All right, we're getting them out of here. These rookies. Oh, <laughs>
Come on, boy. <laughs> 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 He's going to Larry. <laughs> Look what I've gone and done. What an idiot. What an idiot. <gasps> idiot. We're on the toe. The boys are doing it good. This is not how I pictured the day ending. Dave, is this how you pictured today going? Not quite. No, not at all. <laughs> and we could not be further from the houseboat if we tried. Yeah. If we had beers somehow in the race boat, I probably wouldn't mind this. The sun's setting. Yeah. Um, the temperature's good. Yeah. We're going to cruise in through the river. Kids are confident they're going to get the motor going. That makes me confident. Spirits are high. <laughs> You know how I said before, spirits are high? Spirits are not high anymore. <laughs> this sucks. You can see we're heading into carnage right now. We're probably still, it's 8.30 at night. So we're probably still, I reckon, a good 45 minutes from the boat. Um, it's gonna be very dark very soon. I'm hungry. I'm freezing cold. I just had this picture of today going a little bit differently. I just had this picture. Just one more run. Yeah, one more run. Dad, dad. Just one more run. No kids. Let's go back to the house, yeah, mate. Nah, Dad. Come on. One more run. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's the way the cookies run. Yeah. Oh, my back. That was a long drive. What happened? We had an accident. Everyone's okay, though? Yeah. Everyone. yeah How are you, Dave? Is yeah. scary? What about mechanically? I don't have a boat to do. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It was under for a lot of good. Probably 10 minutes. No good. No good at all. Oh well, at least he got to roll. roll we, um, oh, we didn't roll it, we sunk it. At least he got a sinking boat with him. It's kind of, yeah. It was, gone. It was just one of those on the things. Race day, that's the name. You had to get the monkey off his back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we were, we went for a run and then we were like, we pulled up at the end of uh, Plumbers and I said to the kids, all right, let's go back. They're like, no, let's go do one more. And me and Dave were like, no, we're done for the day. Let's go. They're like, come on, Dad, just one more. Let's just go do Log Creek and we'll go do Nelbuck. <laughs> and then we were chasing them through Nelbuck and we caught them. Oh yeah, we, were we caught we right caught them through. Now they fell off the plane was around the, the corner. Wind, though? How the wind picked up? Is that what? Uh, no, no, we were in the creek. It was, in, it was there. So they come around the corner and they've fallen off the plane, yeah. and we didn't. So we caught them, and then we were like literally a meter off their transom, we just, and then yeah. we've hit the wash. It's gone like this, and that, and Dave's just gone. Yawn, yawn. <laughs> just straight out the front of the boat, just catapulted straight out yeah. the boat. So the boat's coming through like that. Dave's gone like that out. The boat's just dug the right hand corner in, and I'm sitting in the right hand corner. It's just dug the right hand corner in and just yeah, flooded the whole boat. Yeah, just flooded it. So I stayed in it, and then I'm in the boat, and the boat goes boop, 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 and just sinks to the bottom straight from underneath me. Dave was on the other side. So you might have a big night ahead of you. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. But these two reckon that they'll. Uh, he's into it. One, two, three. Watch those, watch yeah, those. So these two are tinny ruts, they reckon they reckon they'll get this thing going in like yeah. let's see what they can do. And that is not how you do that. How you do that. <laughs> yeah? So if you want to come down and do you do, but don't do what we do. Yeah? Don't flood the boat. Are you scared for your daddy? <laughs> you scared for your daddy. Um okay, we'll Christian. Definitely Christian, talk to cam talk the camera through what you're doing. This is, watch this, this tinny rat. <laughs> Go watch this stuff, that's heaps more exciting. Basically, oh, yeah. to you get this motor running again, when you get all of the water out, get it. fuel in, and then, okay. and then should be good. Um, yeah, we have rolled over several boats back in the Goldie, so we're pretty dialed at this now. Uh, we're going to drain the bowls and clean out the, the jets and all the carbs because she is under for 
quite a while, so we just want to make sure that it's done, done right, so we don't have to try redoing this again. See, oh. this, that is not, that is not supposed to be that's in a car, but not fuel, that is water. Showing the people how the carbonetto works. That air goes in, mixes with fuel, comes out this little valve here. Um, air and fuel make make big boom. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm not wrong. That's how. That's how motor works. Okay. So the floats. <laughs> this is a float. So the float sits in the bowl, like that, and then so so this bowl fills up with uh, fuel, and then and then when it fills up with fuel, it does push up the the floats, which is which is flow fuel in into the jets, which is pumped into the carb, and then and then that mixes with with the air, and then just goes into the engine. Look at this beautiful assembly Don't of Trump the car. Drink. Drop. <laughs> drop <laughs> Look at this beautiful. <laughs> Hopeful? Uh, very hopeful. Um, me, and, me and Christian are the best backyard mechanics that I've ever seen. <laughs> Even though this is the back of a boat, but... All you have to do when, you, when you're rebuilding a sunken engine, this right here, WD-40, is your friend. The more of this, the better. This is better than water. There you go, Rob. Here's a job for you. Just pretend you Just pretend that you're showing a uh, donkey. <laughs> Huh? Like you're back in Messina, you're in Sicily, <laughs> your mum's calling you in for dinner, you're like, Mum, I'm just going to finish showing this donkey. Yeah? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Isn't that what wogs do? <laughs> Shoot donkeys or? I thought they concrete. So I knew that we were going to do props this weekend, so I bought my little panel beating kit. Yeah, right. Do you know how many Patriot X1s this is repaired? This None. little kit? None, because they're lots of them. A bit like tanks. Yeah, none. Kale cords in, we've primed the fuel, carbies are on, the spark plugs are back in. Whole motor looks like it runs, so now we're gonna make make it actually run. Oh, do you want to do it or do I do it? How many pull? Do you want to put a bet on? I'm gonna go with eight. I'm gonna eight. go fifteen. Okay. okay. Eight. Yep. You got the choke on? Four. Yep. Throttle or what? No, mm -hmm. like I locked it out. Can't. Mm -hmm. So. Eight. Nine. Oh, oh, hey. Are you kidding or what? Hey. Yeah, boys. Oh, it looks like a dream, like a cold motor. Going on in. in into you can get it after it fires. Yeah. So we can give it a rev. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have to wait until it's back in.
Incredible. You too. Incredible. Incredible. That's, that, that's, that's from my side. That, that's from my side. That's definitely your side. That's definitely from my side. Well, kind of my side. Are you kidding? Dave. Uh-oh. That's awesome. You might have some competition That's here. awesome. They could, be, they could be mini spammers. Good. good. Yeah, yeah good. Not, uh, yeah. That means you and oh, me can drink beer and they fix everything. <laughs> Keep doing this. Good job, boys. Boys, I am yeah, boys. so impressed. Like, Thanks. really impressed. Yeah. We want to go run some fuel through that now, eh? Yeah. Yeah? Probably definitely. definitely. Yeah, we'll just chuck the air Get everything hot. Yeah, let's get the air box on. Dad, how you going with that prop? Uh, no idea. Yeah? No idea. All right, well, let's get that prop back on and we'll go We'll go. just heat it up, get it nice and hot, uh, yep. make sure everything's flowing. How friggin' oh, cool yep. is that? Tell me you're not watching right now and if you're a fan of Patriot Games, tell me you haven't seen these guys grow from like this to this and now doing stuff like this. Like, is that not the best thing you've ever seen? They're in there, they're part of the crew. They've got a little job to do. They're over in the corner, they're setting up the boat trailers. Well, we'll tighten them up to FT anyway. Got him? Yep. If it kicks, got to hang on to it, okay? All right, that's it. I can't wait to have a ride in this race car. I call shotgun. This is the evolution. This is the next step. The handover is going down here this weekend. And this is just the start of it. The only thing you got left to do now for the full handover yep. is beat me on Sunday. Or to finish first, first to you, must finish. <laughs> well done, boys. Finishing doesn't happen when you're upside down, so... Yeah, oh no, I did, I did it bad. Listen, hey, if we go back... Yeah. Well, it's fixed now. Ashton, I'm so. pretty sure I've, hit, I've seen you upside down. I'm just trying to think, where was it? You're upside down. <laughs> no, that was sideways, I think actually. there was a Polaris... No, no, was no, there no, a Polaris the Razor well. involved? It was Panda. Oh, oh, we're going. Full roll, it was just on its side. Right. <laughs> and, also, I and also, I didn't roll no, either. No, 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 like we pushed it back over, started it, went like a dream. Yeah, that's because you didn't have two little kids to fix it. Well done, boys. That's a wrap for tonight. We're going to take this thing out for a hit now. Let's get the motor hot. Let's get some fuel running through it. Let's get to bed. It is just going on 10 o'clock. Just coming up on 10 o'clock at night. Tomorrow we have another yeah. massive day. All right, that's it. Let's get this wrapped up. Yeah. Well Good done, job, Yanni. Great yeah. job. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen. So it would seem. Well, yesterday definitely did not go to plan, but these two, that one right there, Ashton, yeah. say hello. hello, say good morning, morning. save the day, save the day, you the definitely weekend. saved the day, you saved the weekend, good yeah, recovery crew, eh? how are you feeling this morning, yeah, I'm ready to give it, give it another crack, see how today goes, are you nervous to get back in the butt, nah, it's like, it's like anything to do with the race now. You got to get back in and just hit it. You got to get back on the just, horse. Yeah, get back on the horse. I'm not a gymnast, Maurice. <laughs> Sorry, Maury. I'm not a gymnast. <laughs> uh, yesterday was pretty hardcore. Like actually waking up this morning, thinking about it this morning, it was pretty hardcore. Yeah. You know, like it could have, it could have gone bad. Yeah, could have gone different ways. Yeah, but... could have gone a different way, but everything kind of worked out all right. You saw last night. The twins got my boat going. Uh, we're hoping we're not going to have any long-term kind of issues. What do you reckon, Christian? You reckon everything will be all right? No, you don't reckon. Yes. You don't reckon yes. everything will be all right, or yes. you do reckon everything will yes. be all right? Everything what are you doing? Feeding. Are you proud of these two little punks? Yeah, hell yeah. How are these two? Yeah, tinkering. Yeah. I need to get it going. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely just so wrapped. So anyway, look, the plan for today is we're going out for a big practice session. So we're going to meet up with all the boats. We've got a couple of sweet boats coming. Uh, it's helmets on today, the whole staff. Uh, camera crew is going to follow us around. They'll get what they can get, but today we really got to concentrate. We're going to do the short lap. We're going to do the long lap. We're going to make sure we get into the back creeks we haven't gotten into. Um, that'll run for a couple of hours. Then hopefully today we'll come back. We'll do a big cook up. Try and have a relaxing day. Go to scrutineering. Get the boats all prepped. Get them ready because tomorrow is race day. Um, the monkey's off our back. We know what we don't need to do during the race. And 
don't ever try and catch the twins again because if I'm going to try and catch them again, that's when things are going to go bad. I think I've just got to kind of accept the fact that they're going to beat me. This is their weekend. But we'll say anything can happen on race day. All right, let's get out. Let's get some testing done. <laughs> It's just gorgeous in here, it's absolutely amazing. You know what I think of in here though, Dave? Yeah. How's there no crocs? Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking yesterday. <laughs> it, look, it looks really crocky in here, like there should be crocodiles yeah, through here. Exactly. We got back into the boat ramp, we were literally 50 metres away. We spotted a little baby croc sitting on the bank and I just had to have it. Oh my look. God! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Ooh, where there's a baby, there's normally yeah, a mama. Oh my God! He's so tiny. He's just chilling, just hanging out. What are you going and done, John? I think I've hooked myself a little croc, mate. I've hooked a croc. This croc's rolling and thrashing about. I cannot believe how much power this little croc's got. I got him. We got him. Bobby, he's Bobby, not get on there, mate. mate. You got his jaw? Yeah. Bobby, don't put your hands anywhere near it, it, mate. Go. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, boys! Woo! And I would not recommend that anyone would do this because it is quite dangerous. And if you don't know what you're doing, split second, things could go wrong. One, two, three. There he goes. That's awesome, dude. That is so good, man. How good was that, brother? Catch and release crocodile in Arnhem Land? Check. <laughs> $25 lure retrieve? Check. <laughs> So this is practice session one, we're at Carnage Corner. We see how the motor's going, you see all the boats here, we try and stay in class as best as we can. Um, we'll try and get through the creeks nice and clean and show you a bit around what this course is about. <laughs> Lesson's going absolutely awesome. It's going good, eh, hey, guys? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? How are you feeling, Christian? Good. Yeah, feeling really good? Over there is the entrance into Nelbuck Creek. Now, Nelbuck is definitely, um, I consider, the most hardcore one here. The entrance into this, the first three or four turns, if you get this wrong, your race is over. Actually, if we go back, I think it was our first year, me and Bobby ended up a log, and we ended up pushing it off the log. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Lift it up. Quick. We're good? We're good. Yep. Turn, 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 turn. Woo! We're still in it! Everybody like that? Yes! We're just lucky to do no prop damage. There's a lot of debris in here. You're going to see a lot of logs, a lot of trees. But this is the last creek before you get onto the big main straight that takes you all the way back down to college. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. And then on our last lap, we're pinned wide open from here for 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes maybe, all the way back to the uh, back to the finish line. Pretty gnarly. We're going to get in here. This is the first time we've looked at it this weekend. Haven't been down here for a bit over two years. So we've got to try and remember all of this stuff uh, for race day, but that's why we're out here. That's why we're practicing. You see the whole crew out here. How you going, boys? Everyone's having a good time? That's what it's all about.
How good's that one? That's so good. That's the best creek, dude. Yeah, I love that. That's my favourite. There you have it, guys. Testing day done. Yeah. What'd you think of that last creek? That was good. Yeah. That's my favourite, yeah. eh? But if it goes wrong in there, it definitely goes wrong. You, you feel like you're ready for race day? Yeah. I think the plan this afternoon is we just kick it. This rain's setting in. The rain's pretty hardcore. We might go out and do some prop testing. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to go to scrutineering, get everything ready. Dave, you feeling good? Yeah, heaps better. That last couple of runs, I've, I've yeah. sort of got a bit of a rhythm, you know? Yeah. yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. You two feeling comfortable? Very, very Are you ready to send it, boys? Yeah. Yeah, the boys. Yeah. All right. Group dingy derby dance. Here we go. Get up. <laughs> Come on. All right. Everyone group dance. One, three, one, two, three. Dingy derby. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Meatloaf. Is, is that Londoners make life? Yeah, it sure is. It is? Yeah. Well, I haven't had that since I was about probably four. I know. It That's smells amazing. How's awesome. green hearing? Um, yeah, really good. Bites are all good. Um, I think we're good to go. Awesome. We're ready to rock. Good, good and good. Have you actually cooked this before? Never. Never, only Never. nonna. Only nonna's ever cooked it. Yeah. It's my first attempt ever and Mia's first attempt ever. So here's, here's a little bit of Monticello family history. Always my grandmother and my grandfather's favourite. Dad? Not comment. There is no dispute. Not Zero comment. dispute. From the age of about eight years old, I used to run down there every single school holidays and I'd spend the holidays uh, with my grandparents down in Geelong where Dad's originally from, but he doesn't want to talk about that. Do <laughs> hey. Don't say that. There's people, there's people from Geelong I still know. <laughs> All right, we're going to let these guys finish up cooking. It's race day tomorrow, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode of Patriot Games. And you're going to see if the handover is going to happen this weekend or not. <laughs> team Justin and Dave, or Team the Twins, put in the comments, and we'll see you on the next episode.